Hi there, and welcome to a new episode of Tech Talk. Every year, hundreds of millions of tons of plastics are generated, and a lot of it simply gets burned. We need to make sure that these products are recycled properly so we can use them again and again. As a thermoforming company, we have taken action and joined the Holy Grail initiative. Recently, with the help of our tools, we have successfully turned a digital watermarking solution approach into reality. How? We'll show you in this episode of Tech Talk. Large quantities of various types of waste end up in our recycling facilities every day. However, up to now it has only been possible to sort plastics based on polymer types, which is a problem when you want to use them again in the food industry. Together with 130 companies, including Procter & Gamble, we are working on a solution to improve the quality of the recycled material. Marius, can you explain the solution that has been investigated in this project? Yes, of course. Basically, the idea is to put digital watermarks as invisible coats in the packaging. These coats can transport various information, which kinds of plastic the product is made of, and for example, whether the material is food safe or not. With the help of cameras, sorting machines can then read the coats and sort the waste accordingly into the right streams. The idea sounds great, but what does a digital watermark look like in real life? I will show you in the material R&D center. Over here, you can see some samples we were able to thermoform on our machines with tools made by Kiefel. This tray, for instance, looks like a regular tray at first sight. But if you look closer, you can see all these tiny dots at a first glance. Together, they form the code that can be read by a camera in a fraction of a second. And you mean the camera in the sorting plant scanning the products, right? Well, basically, yes, that's the main purpose. However, this technology is also quite interesting because of the additional benefits. If you can read a product like this, then for instance, it would also be possible for supermarkets or distribution centers to use this technique for scanning purposes instead of barcodes. It's actually quite easy. You scan the product and you see the product information. That really does look easy, but how is this code implemented in the product? I will show you in this clip. As you can see, the code is applied by laser to the mold insert, or in this case, to an inlay. The inlay is part of our tool on which the packaging product is thermoformed. In the end, it looks like this. So it can also be applied to all different kinds of forms and products? Yes, on all different thermoform products, from trays to coffee capsules. Now let's have a look at some typical questions. First, can the plastic product still be sorted if it's creased or damaged? Yes, that's possible. There are hundreds of tiny coats on every single product. Even if the product is creased or there is some food or contamination on the inside, it is still possible to scan and sort the product. And what does this mean for the customers? That depends on the tool. Sometimes, we can simply change an inlay. But in another situation, a new form insert or base may be needed. To our customers, I say, just give us a call and we will have a look at your specific tooling. And how long will you think it take before this technology is universally used? The technology is thoroughly tested. We expect this technology to be implemented in sorting plants within a few years. On the tooling side, we are ready today. We are all facing the challenge of making single-use products future-proof in a sustainable way. That's why innovation and research are essential. The Holy Grail project is one of many examples. Give us a call and let's discuss how we can make your product sustainable together. If you like this episode of Tech Talk, please give a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel.